Good day, my friends. Well, hopefully you're having a great day. So today on desk, I have the HP Protec Smart laptop. This is the HP Envy version. Uh, there are quite a few versions of these. And what I'm doing today, I'm upgrading the drive to a SSD. So interestingly, these machines actually came with a laptop SSHD drive. This is a one one gig. Sorry, this is a this is one terabyte. So that's one thousand gigabyte. So if you know an SSHD drive, it's kind of it's a middle way compared to a standard HDD and an SSD because the SSHD has got the potential built in it that frequently access data. It can access it a lot faster than a standard, uh, a standard HDD, uh, but it is still not as fast as your plain SSD. So yes, this machine, even at 13 years old, it boots up okay, but there will be a lot better speed when you put in a SSD drive. So what I want to show you or share with you today is some of the challenge in actually getting this machine open. It's really, I would say, it's a medium level to to very difficult. You just, as long as you, you pay note of a few things. So I'm going to shut it down now. I'm just going to hold the button and shut it down. So I've already started it, but I figure I'll share this with you. Some of the things that you need to look out for when you're taking this machine apart. So of course, the first thing you want to do with, with any machine when you're getting inside there is to remove the battery. Yeah, so the battery switch seems a bit flaky, but there it goes. It's a slim battery. Okay, and this is where the fun is going to begin. You remove the battery. There are added screws to be removed. Here, this one is one over here. One in this cavity here, one over here, and that's it. So I'm looking at one, two, three, four right there, right? Then, of course, you, you're going to remove all the screws at the back. So around the corner, the hedges, across the front, the other side, and then a few in the middle here. So like here, you get a couple here. One of them, this one right here with that disc symbol is the that is what keeps the CD-ROM or DVD drive in. So you're gonna remove that. And there's one more, not a secret coming up. This little tab here, you're gonna stick something underneath it. And so you're gonna stick something there. Yeah, get this piece off. I'll find that later and inside this cavity there is a captive screw so as you know that means that you you will you will take this out or you will unlock it but it's not going to drop out of its socket it's it's held in there by some retainer a special design on the other end so it's not going to pop out but you need to unscrew the seam several times like you would do one of these which will just pop out and you will just take these out once you're finished removing all the screws in this machine it's over it's part i think it's about 26 27 screws and i'll show you where the others are so, so remember i told you about removing stuff down here okay the next place you want to remove is these these legs so this sit on this also serve to raise the machine up don't confuse them with this this there are no screws under these two 
There's the other one over there. But for the two above the end, you will need to get those two off. So there you go. You got the second one. So I've already gone ahead and removed the screw. So I'll show you what that looks like. It's one screw in here. And there's another screw here. Okay. Now, this is where the fun begins. So after having removed this screw here, you're going to take this cover, the hinge cover off. So let me put it down. And hopefully you can, you can spot it there. So there. So I'm going to remove the hinge cover. So you just want to use a spudger or something to pop it up. I'll use something a little stiffer like this metal piece. Well, let's, let's, let's try to, let's just go on this one first. Hmm. I just don't want to break anything, so sometimes I'm really careful, extra careful. Okay, so I put it on the hedge there, and then you just get your get your screw your tip in there and pop it up. Yeah, until eventually come out. You just don't want to be too forceful on it. Okay, so let's do the other one again. So I'm using this to. it pops up and beneath this which I've already removed these screws but you're gonna find you're gonna find screw here screw here so any screw that you find on this you re just remove them remove them put them aside mark them where they came from same with the other side and once you've done that, you've got all your screws out. So at this stage, you you can remove your you can remove your your optical drive. Just pop that out. Okay. So you've got all your screws that should be removed out. You can turn this over, and we're gonna look at the front. So remember, I've already gone and almost uh, completely removed this prior. But I just want to, in the interest of sharing, want to show you how you would proceed with this. Because I think there, there are not many information, much information out there on removing this particular model. Okay, so tools that I'm working with. On, it's a, it's a regular... Phillips screwdriver star head that you need for the screws and I, I, I need something like a solid pry non-metallic pry uh, I, I use the same really stiff metallic I don't use this on the internal that's on the outside because I don't want to discharge or damage any circuitry and then I use this this is very important I need this which is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you right now and this is what you can use to start removing it so look for breaks small gaps within the cover uh, and the beginning it's not gonna be a lot starting even in the center right there be careful not to damage your screen you can push your screen out of the way and you want to get this here and start popping up be careful especially around this area where the the CD, came, CD drive came from. It's very thin, you want to be careful there. Another strategy, especially when you're just starting to try to get in, is to look for, I'm turning this on the back, is to look for any gap here, and you want to get your tool in there, and slowly begin to pop it up, and it will pop out. Yeah, it will pop. Once it starts popping like that, you can use your hand and you can start pulling on it. Or if does, that doesn't work, or if it's still too stiff in there, you can use a bigger budget tool like this 
and get in there and slowly pop it around the edge pop 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 until it pops right out so you can do it all around the the perimeter of this laptop so i'm going to show you what it looks like and what the clips are that's keeping it in place so once you get all the screws up then you can you can lift it from the back or even from the front you can start lifting it upwards so i'll show you what that looks like so you see i'm coming up from the front but don't this model <clears throat> you will not be able to well you can but you shouldn't you shouldn't just tear this cover up because it's there are about five ribbon cables that are underneath i've seen models similar to this where you can just take this top off not so for this baby so you're going to take your time pry it open and in this case i'm replacing the hard drive so it's towards the top and i don't want the extra work of removing the cables so i'm just going to pry it open enough so there you go and now let me cut let me show you what that looks like in there so i've cheated a bit because i've gone ahead and replaced the drive but I want to show you the old drive was in that slot right there and you just remove this one ribbon cable right here and uh, that runs on top of the drive just unlatch the this latch here by just lifting the black flap up and pulling the ribbon cable out then the drive is not screwed in you can just detach it from its SATA connection swap it out there's some little uh, bumper around it you can add that to your new drive and then you're good you don't have to remove any cables see see the gang of cables that's there uh there are about five cables down there that can be removed now as a bonus if you want to upgrade your ram and let me switch this around and show you If you get in there and you've gone through all this work, then you might as well, you may as well get to upgrade your RAM. If both slots are not already occupied. So peeping over the hedge here of the logic board, if you notice, this is actually one of the RAM. And so you have two slots normally you would have one in your pc and if you haven't upgraded or you didn't max it out at purchase then you would have a second slot so let's say you have four gig or eight gig you can you could drop another eight gig in there and to do that you would need to remove a few screws that's holding the logic board down so there's one here one there and you will see the ones that you need to remove there's an arrow beside it okay so you'd remove that I'll always make sure when you're handling the internals that either you wear a status risk or you discharge yourself from static energy before so you don't zap your expensive logic board. So that would be where you would put your dry, your your memory extra ROM in and then once you got that in place. So of course to do that it's a little bit more involved. You just need to take these ribbons out completely. Uh, put aside the top cover and then you can slowly start working to lift this logic board out so you can get to the underside but that's not a very difficult job it's just patience and take some time okay alrighty so once you're done uh, in my case I just do a clone straight clone on this on the drive that was in there and uh, the customer just used that for kind of a backup and then this is their new much improved drive it will give their laptop another three years or so okay so hopefully this this video has been helpful thank you for watching please like share comment and subscribe really appreciate appreciate you watching these videos and helping to grow the channel so until next time you have a great day peace bye bye